Hey there, welcome to Product Marketing Genius. I'm your host, Nathan Karthik. As director of product marketing and a top product marketing voice, I've always found that real world case studies are the true litmus test for the effectiveness of any product marketing strategy. And that is why in this show, we dive into the minds of industry titans, as well as rising stars, unpacking their expertise in action-packed episodes that showcase the power of product marketing through real world case studies. And today, my friends, we are joined by product marketing genius, Norman Rohr, who is a founding partner at B2B Practitioners in Munich, Germany. Norman has earned his degree in international business from the International School of Management in Dortmund. And he also earned his MBA from the Melbourne Business School and his executive degree in marketing from Wharton Business School. Norman is a seasoned marketing and revenue executive with over two decades of experience in the tech and digital media industries across four continents. He is also founder of Kiyomizu Growth Advisory that is a consulting firm specializing in product marketing and go-to-market strategy. And he's also a founding partner of B2B Practitioners, which is recognized as one of Germany's foremost B2B tech marketing advisories. And throughout his distinguished career, Norman has consistently demonstrated his prowess in developing and executing successful go-to-market strategies and also scaling operations and leading high-performance teams within the B2B tech space. His executive roles with industry giants include Google, SVOX, Pixability, Uberall, Central ERP Software, and Capmo, and many others. And these, coupled with his consultancy work, with numerous other businesses underscore his comprehensive expertise and significant contributions to the field. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Norman Rohr. Nor Norman, welcome to the show. Thanks, Nathan. Uh, glad to be here again. Um, I'm completely speechless with this long intro. Uh, I would love to meet a guy that you just described. <laughs> meet indeed. In fact, our audience is going to meet this very person right now. Okay, so Norman, today we're going to give the audience uh, an example from the framework that you have actually developed, the product marketing strategy framework. And Norman, we'll use the ABC methodology. We'll talk about the antecedents, the behaviors, and the conclusion. So first, let's look into this framework that you've developed and tell us, Norman, about the antecedents. In other words, what are some of the prior challenges that caused you to create this framework? Yeah, it's actually a good question. I think uh, it's the typical challenges that every one of us uh, product marketers encounters. So uh, hopefully all of us uh, can relate to it. So what happened to me, I think there are three big triggers. The first one is we all have seen it. The product comes over and suddenly everyone says marketing now generate demand bring in the leads this needs to be successful if you look at a product you go through the exercise and realize something doesn't work or at, at the very least we're late to the party we, have, we should have been involved much earlier the second tri uh, driver similarly go to market has been decided marketing now supported and you look at it you do all the exercise and you realize no there's a mismatch so again this time, but the sales or go to market marketing mismatch. And the third one that I often struggle, particularly in startups, you talk to your fellow leadership uh, leaders in the leadership team and you realize they are not part of the journey. So, what I was looking for is how to solve this. What is an overarching, digestible framework that takes everyone onto the journey and solves exactly for those problems? Excellent. Wonderful. So sometimes, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. When you have all these problems coming, this is what helps us create new ways of doing it. So I love it. Wonderful. So thank you, Norman. Now, tell us in terms of the behaviors, what kind of behaviors should a product marketing manager engage in to follow this framework that you've laid out? So as I described, we had this challenge of product strategy, customers, the marketing strategy. We had this challenge of go to market is set and uh, marketing uh, has to follow. So the way I approached it, I was looking for this unifying theory that brings everything together. So I looked at it as well, obviously you have the golden circle, uh, the why, the how, the what, you have the mission, the purpose, the vision. But then when it comes to strategy definition, my, 
my hypothesis is that what we need first is what I call the product marketing fundamentals. That's most important. Uh, most importantly, obviously, who's really our ICP? Who? Uh, uh, what is the buyer decision um, process? There of also, what's the buying center involved? Involved. Once you have defined this, only then you can actually really think about okay, what should my corporate strategy be? So my hypothesis, what I call strategic product marketing, or product marketing fundamentals, informs corporate strategy, and only then you basically decide okay, there's a go-to-market strategy, there's a product strategy and a marketing strategy. It basically fixes one of the essential challenges that we have that product uh, marketing often comes in too late. No, it's actually way higher in the order. Once you have this in place, everything else actually follows pretty smoothly. You know how to define your value proposition. It's aligned with everyone. You know how to operate your uh, or execute your operational product marketing. I would really recommend to everyone, have a look at the article. Nitin's gonna link it below the video. Uh, it will actually make your work a lot more efficient. Absolutely. And yes, you know, it's hard, I think, to visualize some of this. So we'll definitely include a link to the article that Norman has written that explains all of this in much more detail. So wonderful. So thank you, Norman, for giving us at least the high level behaviors. Now let's bring it home, Norman. So let's talk about the conclusion. If let's say a product marketing manager is able to follow your framework, can you tell us what kind of results we can expect or how these situations can play out in the real world? So I would be lying if I now said, oh, well, you get a 50X or something. I think where the framework really helps is, first of all, total alignment across the company. Because if you all, when you think about your, uh, about your strategies for the individual departments and the corporate strategy, if you think about a unified or agreed upon ICP by the, uh, and uh, by personas, then that's already a major step forward for the alignment. The second thing is once you have this, your whole company will actually execute much faster. So ever since I started implementing this, I actually uh, realized that there is much, much faster motion in the go-to market, in the market traction. And even product gets a lot more exciting, uh, excited because quite often product thinks about the user more than about the economic buyer. So by implementing this approach and putting it on top before even product strategy has been decided, makes it for a much, much smoother process. So please try it. I can tell you, you will be, uh, it's, like a, it's like a miracle engine. Sorry, my English is not uh, good enough, but I'm stunned how, how much you can get done. Just for an example, in, my, uh, in the current company where I'm helping out as an uh, interim CMO, uh, we were able to get our entire position, revise our entire positioning within a month. We were uh, in another month. We had a complete new packaging and pricing. So there is so much momentum that you can achieve. Really try it. And the best thing is actually that all your colleagues in the leadership team know what is coming next because they have a clear map what needs to be implemented. And you will never get again questions like, "Oh, when do we start ads?" When you're actually still uh, in the process of defining the SCP or the uh, the messaging. Absolutely fabulous. Wonderful. So thank you, Norman, for laying that out. I love it because you've actually not just talked about the theory, but also actual use cases where you've helped your clients with this framework. Wonderful. So beautiful. Thank you, Norman, for that. Norman, if people wanted to learn more about you, where can they find out more? Just connect to me on LinkedIn. So first of all, you should I say you should look at the, um, the article anyway, but just connect with me. Happy to meet you. Happy to share. Uh, ideas. Um, happy to meet anytime you want. Wonderful, wonderful. So thank you, Norman. Folks, there you have it. Make sure that you follow Norman's framework and you will be surprised at some of the results that you've got, just like Norman has delivered for many of his clients. So thank you, Norman, once again. And my friends, on with that knowledge, onward and upward.